Hi guys, welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm making pressure cooker taco tortellini. Alright guys, I'm starting on my pressure cooker. I have it set on saute high and it's preheating. And I have a pound of ground beef. I'm going to get this in here and get this browned up. And after it's done browning up, I'm going to drain off the excess grease. Because this, is, this isn't lean ground beef. Okay, now that my ground beef's all browned up and I drained off the excess grease, I'm going to add in a can of diced tomatoes, 14 and a half ounces, juice and all. And I'm going to take that can, I'm going to fill it halfway with water. And we're going to dump that in. That's roughly about 7 ounces of water. I'm going to add in a half of a teaspoon of oregano. I'm going to add in a teaspoon of garlic. And I'm using the uh, pre-diced in a jar. And this jar is just about kicked. I'm going to add in a pack of taco seasoning mix. This is one and a quarter ounce. And guys, it's going to be a really quick, easy recipe for a weeknight when you work all day. And I don't know if you've taken notice, I'm using my Faberware pressure cooker. I really like this pressure cooker. I use it a lot. I like the non-stick liner inside. And I'm not being endorsed by Faberware or nothing. I just like the pressure cooker. It's $49 at Walmart, worth every penny. I'd buy another one when this one dies, so I like it that much. Okay, now I have two 18-ounce bags of frozen cheese tortellini. These were refrigerated when I got them, but I froze them so they would keep longer. I wasn't sure if I was going to use both. I'm going to add both bags of tortellini in there, and I'm going to give this a stir. Get everything all mixed together. And as this cooks, this tortellini will put off a little bit of a liquid because it's frozen. It's a thaw in there. Okay, now I'm going to put my lid on here, and I'm going to set this to pressure cook for three minutes. After the three minutes are up, I'm going to do a quick release of the pressure. Alright guys, my three minutes are up. I just released my pressure. You can see this drank up most of that liquid in there. Now I'm going to add in some Fiesta Blend cheese. You can't find it, you can also use taco cheese. And I'm just going to sprinkle some in there. We're going to stir this in. And I'm going to grab a towel here guys because this pan is going to be hot. I burned my finger Sunday when I was making supper and uh, the skin ripped off saying it's really tender so I don't want to burn myself again. And you can see my tortellini is cooked. It's nice and plump. It hasn't broke apart. Let me get a little more cheese in there. Give that one more stir. Get my napkin off of my spoon. This is ready to serve, guys. Let's go ahead and fix up the plate and see what we got. I had a little green onion on top for some extra flavor and a little bit of garnish. And if you're a sour cream person, go ahead and add some of that to it. But you know I don't do sour cream. Let me get in here and try this. I don't remember if I mentioned it. This is cheese tortellini to begin with. Tortellini is nice and tender. Get that good taco flavor from the beef. Cheesy. You get that nice crunch and the freshness from the green onion. That's really delicious, guys, and it was really easy. All right, there you have it. Pressure cooker taco tortellini. Give it a try. Thanks for watching, and until next time, I'll see you.